All right, thank you very much, Tom. Well, uh, I found my way to section 210 uh, up here, and I am surrounded by owls. As you guys mentioned, it is Temple Night here at Citizens Bank Park, and uh, the head coach of the Temple Owls football team, Matt Rule, is with us. Uh, good to see you, Coach. Thank you so much for having me. What a great night. What a great game. It, uh, and you've uh, filled these sections because you guys have over 200 students. It's not just the football team that's here, over 200 student athletes. We have a, a great squad of uh, great student athletes here at Temple, and it's good to get out, uh, show Temple pride, and, and, and join in with the Phillies with a great game. Well, let's talk a little bit about uh, the football team because you guys are about halfway through your uh, get your fall practices, getting ready for this upcoming season. Uh, so, how are things going so far? 18 returning starters for you guys. So, there's there's a lot of optimism on campus. We have a veteran team. We'll be out there tomorrow morning at 8:30, you know, banging, hitting. But uh, we have a great group of seniors, a great a, a bunch of guys that have won and lost a lot of games. They, they've been through some wars, and they want to go out and have a great senior season. It's your third season, and, uh, you know, you improved to 6-6 six and six last year uh, after the two wins your first season. I would imagine that, uh, you know, you're looking this year, bowl el eligibility, and, and to get into a bowl game this year and, and, and take that next step. Now, we will, uh, we will be bowl eligible. We have a great team. Um, as long as the coaches don't mess it up. <laughs> now, now we have a great group of seniors, a great group of juniors. They, they went through a heartbreak last year, but they're ready to go back to a bowl game. And we want to compete for a conference championship. There's no reason we can't. We have a great home schedule, Penn State, Notre Dame. But uh, we expect to have a really good team and, and fight to get to a bowl game and have a chance to compete for the conference championship. Yeah, and, and if you look at the major publications guys around uh, all around the country, they expect that you guys will compete for that conference championship and, and, and probably win it. Well, I, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about the fact that they recognize what we have here in Philly, what we have here at Temple. And uh, we have a, a really good group of seniors. But you know what's great? We have a bunch of young players, and a bunch of them are sitting around us that, that no one knows yet. They're really good football players, really good kids, good students, and we're going to be good for a long time. I was reading today about the team and, and the message that you and the coaching staff are, are really trying to put out there. And, and you know, it, it's age old in sports, but but it's so important, and that is, you know, play for one another, right? Exactly right. I mean, football is a game where you go out there, you have injuries, you get banged up, you have to play through injury, you have to play through heartbreak, you have to play through just being tired. So why do you do that? You do that for one another. So we want our guys to sacrifice for each other, to compete for one another. We go play Penn State, they'll play for themselves, they'll play for each other, and we'll play for each other. And, and that's what we want. We want our guys to really be Temple Owls through and through. Yeah, Penn State, you mentioned they'll be coming to town uh, early in the season, first game of the season, a little bit later on, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish as well. Hey, obviously, no matter who's out there against you guys, you're going to go out there and, and, and try to win that game. But it's got to be exciting to have teams like that coming into, uh, into uh, the Lincoln Financial. What a great thing for Philadelphia for Temple you know, fans, for Temple students, for Temple, our players, for, for people that just love football, to have two great teams, Penn State, Notre Dame, to have two conference championships, uh, champions, uh, UCF, Memphis, to have them all come here to Lincoln Financial Field. When I got here in 2006, I never would have dreamed that Temple would have come this far. So I think it's a great thing for our entire program and for Philadelphia to have such good teams come here. That one will stay in the yard as well. So two outs uh, in this inning. Before I let you go, uh, you know, folks uh, obviously can come down, buy tickets, uh, and, and come watch you guys play. Uh, what's the one thing that fans should look for when they watch the Temple Owls this year playing football? Well, I, I think they're going to see a team that's hard-nosed, that's tough, that's competitive. Um, and I, I'll just say this, and I hope it's okay that I say this, but I know Chase Utley, you know, might not be here anymore as a, as a Philadelphia Phillies fan, but more importantly, as a father. As someone who's tried to teach my son the right way to do things, I'm so grateful that my son had a chance to see Chase Utley. I'm so grateful for the Philadelphia Phillies organization to have him here so long. And what a great opportunity for, for people that live in this area to come see great baseball, see great people. And I'm, that's why I bring my team here. I want them to see what the game is all about and what sports is all about. Well, uh, well said. And I know you certainly speak for Philadelphia sports fans uh, all around the city. Matt, good, good luck this year. We're, uh, we'll be watching and, uh, and pulling for you to win that conference championship. Thank you so much. All right, guys, let's send it back to you. Murph, we appreciate that. Of course, it's always good to see Matt. Matt was here at the ballpark, obviously, with his team. Matt Stairs was here. Jameer Nelson was here with members of the Denver Nuggets. A little team bonding that they have uh, been doing the last few days here in Philadelphia.